Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Marty Gilbert from Chicago. Hi Marty, how are you doing? Good, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So Marty is the founder and the CEO of the North Shore Executive Networking Group, the largest job search organization in the US. The group is comprised of over 10 million members 10,000, 10,000, <laughs> 10, sorry, 10,000 members with more than one member landing a new job each day. Over the past 13 years, Marty's networking, uh, networking meetings, webinars, workshops, and job search coaching services have helped over 3,000 individuals to land new career opportunities. His, trans, his trademark, what the hell approach the job search has enabled many job seekers to more effectively position, package and promote their value to the target companies and key influencers, while creating career opportunities within the hidden job market. Marty is also a frequent job search speaker at several large university alumni groups, including Harvard, Yale, Cornell, NYU, Chicago, Michigan, Miami, OH, and several others. And his writings regularly appeared in Times, News, uh, Newsweek, Business Week, and Fortune magazine. So Marty, from your perspective, before job searching, why do you think that job seekers, they want to know who they are, what their values? Why do you think that's important before even looking for a job? Well, well think about it. When, when we go looking for products, Mm -hmm. we're looking for value in products because we're willing to pay a certain price for any given product. Yes. And the job search is no different. The companies are looking for the best candidates that they can afford. Mm -hmm. and, and so any good job seeker, anybody who's going to be effective has got to have a great value proposition summary. It's, it's got to be sitting at the top of your resume. It should be sitting in the about section of your LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, it's got to be what you say when somebody asks you the simple question, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? And it comes up in a lot of networking meetings. It comes up in a lot of interviews early on. And you've got to be able to differentiate yourself versus other folks that are also competing for the same jobs as you. You know, the job search is tough. Yes. On average, there's at least 100 people applying to every single job mm -hmm. that's, that's out there. And as a result, you've got to be able to describe yourself in a way where you create a competitive edge, where you yes. create differentiation, but most importantly, where you demonstrate the value of what you can bring to a company if they were to bring you onto the job that they're interviewing you for. And is there any formula or any suggestion in terms of creating that value proposition? Yeah, I think what you've got to do is you've got to take an inventory of the things that you've done in the past that that make you a really strong candidate for the job. So I tell people with every single job that you've ever had, you should be listing out what all the key achievements are in those jobs. And, and the fact is, is that if you start to find, you know, some things that you've done that that are really measurable that that's even more powerful yeah. but people are going to hire you or at least interview you based on things that you tell them that you've done mm -hmm. they go well geez if she's done it there then there's a strong possibility she could add that here and by the way we don't have people in this organization that have done this before but we should be doing it yeah. so the the ability to demonstrate to people um the things that you've done in the past that have value that yeah. can make a difference and for you to tell the story of the impact that you had on the business on the company on the department that you were a part of those are the kinds of things that you've, you've got to be able to exude in the conversations yeah. that you have with people during interviews. No question. Yeah. Those are great tips, Marty. Thank you very much. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Marty a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. So you can like, share or comment all the videos. So tune in next time for another great question with Marty.